Since the Omicron variant was detected, 17 states have had confirmed cases, at least 10 of which are in the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut tri-state area. At least one case was detected in a person who had just went to a convention at New York City's Javits Center, an event attended by more than 50,000 people. That's not good. Joining us now, the mayor of New York, uh, New York City, Bill de Blasio. Uh, and Bill, you are revealing right now new measures to keep COVID infection cases down. What are they? Yeah, Mika, look, we just talked about an attack on democracy. Well, we're under attack a different way right now from the coronavirus. And we've got Omicron as a new factor. We've got the colder weather, which is going to really create additional challenges with the Delta variant. We've got holiday gatherings. We in New York City have decided to use a preemptive strike to really do something bold to stop the further growth of COVID and the dangers it's causing to all of us. So. As of today, we're going to announce a first in the nation measure. Our health commissioner will announce a vaccine mandate for private sector employers across the board. All private sector employers in New York City will be covered by this vaccine mandate as of December 27th. We're going to have some other measures as well to really focus on maximizing vaccination quickly so we can get ahead of Omicron and all the other challenges we're facing right now with COVID. And uh, curious, um, first of all, that anybody and everybody who works in New York City has a vaccine mandate at this point. How do you enforce this? We're going to work with the business community. And we've seen a lot of cooperation so far when we have put in place our mandate, for example, for uh, restaurants, indoor entertainment, indoor fitness. We actually got a lot of cooperation. There were a few times where we had to penalize people, but it was rare. So we're going to put together the rules, work with the business community. But I'll tell you something, Mika, mm. the fact that this is universal, and, and this would be my advice to mayors, governors, CEOs all over the country, use these vaccine mandates. And the more universal they are, the more likely employees will say, OK, it's time. I'm going to do this because you can't jump from one industry to another or one company to another. It's something that needs to be universal to protect all of us. So, Mr. Mayor, you see here one of the other measures is the requiring vaccination uh, for indoor dining, fitness, entertainment for children, too. Children now have access to the vaccine ages 5 to 11. I will say I am surprised that more cities have not followed New York City's lead. Even Washington, D.C. does not require to prove your vaccination status to come in for a restaurant. But talk a little bit more about the reason behind that. But I want to go back to the, also the mandate for the private sector workers. We, the, the Biden administration's efforts to do this are tied up in courts right now. There's a lot of legal challenges. Do you not anticipate the same will happen here? Here, and how confident are you can prevail? We are confident because it's universal. Um, I don't know all the intricacies of what the Biden administration has been through, but I do know this. Our health commissioner has put a series of mandates in place. They have won in court, state court, federal court, every single time, Jonathan. And it's because they're universal and consistent, and they're about protecting the public right now from a clear and present danger. Uh, our youngest kids, we got to reach them now. Right now in this city, it's about 20% have gotten vaccinated in that 5 to 11 range. It's new. The vaccine's relatively new. But what we're trying to say to parents is it's urgent. Before Omicron grows, before Delta continues to stress us even worse in the winter months, uh, get your kid vaccinated. And here's an incentive to do it. A lot of parents, of course, want to take their kids out to wonderful things that will be happening in the holiday season. Here's a reminder. Get your child vaccinated. Just one dose will immediately qualify any child to be able to participate in those activities. But look, I'm a parent, and I remember vividly when my kids were going to school, you know, you don't end up in a situation where a, a child is left unprotected. I, might, I urge parents really strongly, get that vaccination. It's safe. It's been proven. Here's another incentive to do it. So it's one dose for children, but two now.